Okay, the winter nights are drawing in. Time for some comfort food. We're going to start with fish pie. Now, the main ingredients for this, of course, are fish and potatoes. Here is the fish I'm using today. This is going to be enough to serve about four people. That's one large pie. It's smoked fish and white fish. If you're on a budget, like me, use coli. That's coli, that's the white fish. And here, the smoked fish. Some prawns always go in nicely. And some potatoes. Also got some other ingredients to make it special. First of all, heat some milk in a pan, maybe about a pint of milk. A couple of bay leaves in there as well to make a, a nice flavoured milk. And um, you might also want to grind up a bit of pepper uh, to make it nice and fine. There we go. Pestle and mortar. I'm going to grind away. Oh, yes. Fantastic. Put the fish into the white milk thing. In the meantime, peel your potatoes. And let the fish poach for about five or ten minutes. Chop the potatoes into evenly sized pieces. Like that. Bring the potatoes to the boil with a teaspoon of salt. Put the lid on. <coughs> Leave the fish in the milk. Meantime, bring two eggs to the boil. There. Now, this is going to get tricky. You need to separate the fish from the fishy milk. Let's try it with one hand. There's the fish in the fishy milk. There's a sieve in a bowl. Pour it through. Oh, yeah. Fishy milk. Still the fish in there. I'll do the rest with two hands. Fish. Fishy milk. Plate the fish into a pie dish. Add the prawns to the fishy mix. Treat yourself to one. By the way, I'm using coli for this because it's cheap and I'm a tight bastard. You could use cod or haddock. Don't forget to chuck in a bit of smoked fish, whatever you do. Boil your eggs until they're hard. Boil your potatoes until they're soft. Heat still low, slowly add your fishy milk, stirring all the time. The sauce is starting to come together now. Keep it moving. If you want to, you can also add a fish stock cube to the sauce. There it is, in there. When your potatoes are cooked, drain them. When your eggs are boiled, shell them. Now mash the potatoes up with some butter and some milk. Let me go. Oh yes. Boss. Boss. the egg, put a few capers onto the fishy eggy mixture, if you like them. If you don't, don't put them on. And pour over the milky, fishy, creamy sauce. Oh yeah. There you go. Coming on, gas mark six. 
spewing the potato all over the fish sauce mixture. At this point, you could have added some parsley to either. I haven't got any. Tough shit. Spread it all over. Oh, that's it. Spread it all over the top. Draw a picture of a fish on top. There we go. There's his little eye. He's a cheeky fella. Do you like cheese? I do. I'm going to cover my pie with cheese. There it is. The fish has disappeared though. Never mind. Draw it again. Put your fish pie in the oven. There he goes. Cook it for about half an hour until the top's nice and bubbling. Back in a minute. Okay, that's it. I'm going to go and serve it up now. So that's fish pie and peas in the oven. A British classic for winter time. Done.